I think most will find this to be a very interesting project. An engraver had an opportunity to do order fulfillment for a large mail order firm. The mail order firm, among other things, sold embossing dies, envelope embossing kits, hand stamps to do people's fancy Christmas envelopes. They wanted to supply a data file and their programmers could supply it any way the engraver needed it. But what he and the mail order fulfillment people didn't want to take a chance on was making a mistake on the typing so he wanted to be able to bring in the data file just as they sent it to him. But here's a challenge. Number one, they wanted everything to start in the same place on the envelope. So the upper left hand corner of the first line would be the same. Wanted them all left justified. Same distance between the lines. Ah, but one of the major problems was that these envelope embossing dies could have as few as one line and as many as five lines. So how can we create the data file to accomplish that? Let's start a new job. We'll do font, remove font, do new, get rid of that job. And now we want to make a plate three quarter inches tall, two and a half inches wide, three inches tall, six inches wide. That is the individual plate, three quarter inch by two and a half, the multiple plate, three inches tall and six inches into which these go. Then we want to prepare. I've got page and full view showing, not completely necessary. It'll just be a little more uh, dramatic on how we'll accomplish this. And we want everything to be left justified. So we'll set our justification before we bring in a data file. We want our letter height to be 0.1. I'm clicking on letter height then typing in in the little dialog down here one tenth of an inch tall. I'm pressing tab now to go to the baseline. We'll make that 0.2. Tab, left margin, 0.2. Tab, right margin, 0.2. And then we'll enter that. That's our super edit. We changed all of those values and then we press enter. In this case, and that an embossing die needs to be reversed. So we'll click on plate and reverse plate. We'll go to line group since we'll be going quite deep in these aluminum blanks. We'd really like to have a little extra character, extra white space between each character. So we'll go to enter character spacing, line group, enter character spacing. Let's make our line inner character spacing two tenths of an inch and uh, the width of our space between the words. Let's make that one. Then we'll go to miscellaneous. We want to be sure that under setup that our default carriage return is 0.5. That is, if you have down at the bottom of your dialog display percentages as 1, this should be 0.5. If you have yours set up display percentages as 100, then this should be 50. In other words, when we press enter, we want the default courage return or the distance to the next line to have high, half of the height of the character between each line. That is the default, I believe. Then we're ready to create a data file. So I'm going to go to the notepad. We put a pointer to the Windows notepad under Xenotech and notepad. Here's the secret to the whole project. We need a blank line in between the data for each plate. That'll tell Xenotech to move on with the remaining data in the next plate. Notice that there's a blank line between each plate. Here's the data for plate 1, plate 2, plate 3 has only one line in it with a blank line. 
so we can have this um, in this particular case this was a programmer just took the files as they were keyed in by the telephone operators and generated that blank line it would have worked just as easily if we'd have our less sophisticated customers just type that in for us bring it to us on a disk or email it to us then we can just sweep across it and use it so we're going to select all of that and edit and copy then we'll go to Xenotech and edit and paste and there's our data brought in and we've accomplished our main objective and that was to have different number of lines without having to ourselves go in and bring the data over the blank line knew after this line uh, to jump over to the next one so with each blank line it jumped to the next place so we have some with one line some with two lines some with three four and I violated a little bit of a rule here because I wanted to illustrate we didn't want the operator to do any work whatsoever on this on the other hand we can uh, on one of those I put five in so if we wanted to allow that and be willing to go to a little more work then we could peruse the file as it was brought in see if we need any work I'm going to double click down here then we'll do a plate and even spacing where we can crowd even those in again we've violated now our project parameters because now this is a little higher than all the rest of them but if we could live with that I just wanted to illustrate that we can modify the data on a plate by plate basis if necessary for instance if we had one real long uh, line we could break that up and make a separate line out of it this is a very powerful feature of the Xenotech software and as far as I know is unique to the Xenotech graphics workstation but as powerful as it is it's not without limitations I should have called to your attention that I had previously set the font to gothic because that's one of the limitations all text brought in there's no way to change that all text brought in will be in the same font so that needs to be set up front the second limitation is that there's no there can be no data in the plate we have to start with a blank plate so we're bringing in 100 percent of the data but having but being aware of those two limitations and being aware of this feature I think you'll find many projects where it's by far the simplest way to bring in a variable number of lines and in some cases even if it's the same it's an easy way to do it to supply 100 percent of the data in any case this feature shows that we now have uh, the ability to bring in a data file prepared by someone else with variable lines of data and we now have eight embossing dies ready to be engraved.